Can I uh, talk to you a second? We're live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. Why are you here in this cold and rain? To protect my country. All right. We're live on Facebook on the Peace Center's page. Why are you here? To show my support for all the people who are opposed to Trump okay. and to encourage our senators and congressmen to fight him. Should they cooperate at all? Oh, I have, I'm very torn about that. Great consternation. I'd love to see him. I'd, uh, as, as my um, stepson said, it would be nice if he did well, but I'd also like to see him bomb out horribly. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough one. Thank you for being out here. My pleasure. We're live on Facebook on the Peace Center's web page, uh, Facebook page. Can I ask you why you're out here? Let me get a picture of your sign. It's a nice sign. Oh, thank you. I wish I had thought to put it on a sturdier paper. <laughs> we'll have better weather for you next time. Okay, that good. I'm here because I think, um, for me, I need to be with other people who just find what's happening totally unacceptable. So I'm here to feel some solidarity with other people who are like-minded, and I'm here to say um, I'm not going away. I'm going to continue to protest and say we have to rise up and pay attention to what's going on and, and speak out so that things start to change for the better. We can't let people be deported because Trump says we're getting rid of immigrants. We can't let him deny climate change. We can't let him take away people's rights and reverse the policies and the laws on abortion. We just, we just can't do that. So to me, I have to be here because otherwise... I just feel like my voice is stifled in. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, we're live on Facebook on the Peace Center's Facebook page. You want to say why we're at? Why you're out here? We're out can here. I interview you? You can. He wants to practice his uh, freedom of assembly. Yeah. 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 Let me get your sign on here. A is for activism. I know that book. <laughs> yep. yep. We're here teaching him what democracy means. And All you have right. to stand up for things that don't feel right to you. And Trump does not feel right to us. Does no, he? he does not. Does He's not our president. If he was old enough to vote, he would definitely have voted for Hillary. <laughs> wouldn't you? I have a picture of my son about that age, but he's got an impeach Nixon sign. <laughs> One of my favorites. Thank you. We're on Facebook Live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. Can I talk to you? Sure. Why are you out here? It's cold and wet, dark. We have to do something. The country is not going the right direction with Trump being the president. So we have to protest. We have to resist. We have to talk about compassion and tolerance for everyone. Thank you. Let me get a picture of your sign here. Oh, that's American values. True. Tolerance, compassion, and truth. Great. Thank you. We're on Facebook Live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. Can we talk to you? No, thank you. Okay. We're on Facebook Live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. Can we talk to you? Sure. So why are you out here? It's cold and wet and dark? I gotta be out here. I have to be out here. If we can't get active with our beliefs and our values, you know, we're, lo we're doomed. We're doomed. So now I think we finally realized that with Trump um, elected, with what happened to Bernie, the, the American people have to stand up. If we continue to just be complacent and heads down, you know, the, yeah. this is what happens. The country gets taken from us. So I, I brought out my sign. It's a little sign, but I love it. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm getting everybody's signs, too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, John. Good job, Paul. John, you want to talk to me? We're on the... Can I stand under your umbrella? Yeah. We're on Facebook Live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. 
So why are you out here in the rain and cold and dark? Just went Come out. on under the umbrella. Oh, this one is the People that are trying to make it through these next four years and, and know that we're sort of the beginning of, of resisting and also coming together and collectively coming up with some ways to resist. So here I am. All right. Rain, and uh, <laughs> this is going to be happening a lot and we'll be, uh, we're going to be uh, working on this for a while. So I'm oh. hoping to to do, uh, come up with some different things. I think a lot of people that have not been very active for a long time maybe are starting to think about uh, some unique ways to, uh, you know, to, to fight the Trump agenda. And uh, hopefully we can, we can do it. There's so. been a lot of talk that California as a state can uh, throw up some resistance to Trump's agenda, especially on climate change. I think we need to start uh, focusing on Sacramento instead of Washington a little bit more. Um, I think I think we I think it's important to do that, but also I think I think there's different things that, that you can that we can do. I think that uh, there's there. Uh, I know that like I was protesting the other day over at Palantir, and uh, the day yes. but but a week before a couple weeks before I was over at the California in Mountain View where there or Los Altos where their Democratic Party was picking delegates that were often burning people. So there's different ways to go out after this. And and I think there's a lot of stuff that somehow we have to get to these red states to the, the legislatures over in these states is creating, somehow there has to be some um, price to be paid for going along with the Trump agenda for some of these people. So I hope that, uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I think there's a lot that needs to be thought out and. And I think just being with everyone here is uh, great for. Uh, I think that's pretty important on a night like this. To start just being getting with together. Everyone together. So. All right. Thank that's you. Mostly. Stay right. dry. Thanks. I think maybe we needed this. Do you want to talk on Facebook Live? That's okay. Oh, Thank please. You. Come no, on. People here. They're great. Go for it. <laughs> Who is that, Thank John? You. Who? John Bell. His dad is um, a state senator. That's why I asked him the question about good, California. Good, good, good. good. Thank you for the umbrella. Hi, we're on Facebook Live on the Peace Center's Facebook page. Can I talk to you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm, f I'm finding people with umbrellas. <laughs> so let me Barbara, start. Hi. hi, let me get your sign first. Okay. Equal rights for everyone. That's a nice. Is that hand stitched? No, it's no, uh, <laughs> full decorated. So why are you out here in the cold and rain? Well, I just feel like as a government worker, I'm working hard to make sure the veterans are taken care of, and it really pains me to see that all the good things that have been developed in our country might be taken away by a president who's not fit to do the job. And how about you? Uh, I saw what happened eight years ago, and I'm sorry to see uh, another inept. Uh, group of people running our government. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We're live on Facebook. Do you want to talk to me? Sure. Peace Center's Facebook page. Let me get your sign first. I'm trying to get all the signs. Well, Bush drove us into the rut. Good one. <laughs> thank you. So thank why you. are you out here? I'm out here because I stand for all people. All of us are part of the human race. Human racism is not part no. of the human race. That's a good phrase. That's, thank that's you. That's what I think. 